Hi, and welcome to Frosha Talks. My name is Manfred, and in this episode, we are going to talk about the FADC diagnostic possibilities, operational conditions, and limitations. Various diagnostic options categorized in local and remote diagnostics are possible with the FADC. First level diagnostics is provided by the boards themselves through the front panel LEDs and the IOXB display. A more detailed local diagnostic option is available with the Advanced Service Display ASD. Some who have watched previous Frasha Talks FADC episodes may have wondered what the serial interface connector of each board is used for. The ASD cable can be locally connected to every AB or COM to retrieve detailed diagnostic data via a USB port of standard PCs or laptops. As a second level of diagnostics, the Frasher Diagnostic System FDS can be deployed to remotely access the diagnostic data of the FADC. Here the COM board forwards diagnostic data from the internal bus to Ethernet from which the FDS takes the necessary diagnostic information. One FDS manages data from 150 ABs and COMs. On the FDS, several applications are in operation in order to ensure proper data logging or user management. A web server service allows the remote connection via any standard web browser. A modern user interface provides a clear overview by means of a detailed track layout and board track layout view. It allows the user to click through the different element levels from the top to the bottom. Information on the communication status and the component status down to the analog value of a wheel sensor signal can be accessed. The Frauscher Insights platform provides yet another diagnostic experience. This cloud-based holistic diagnostic service allows the facilitation of the almost unlimited storage and performance of cloud-based computing technology. Artificial intelligent algorithms allow the deviation of preventive and predictive messages and alarms to reduce lifecycle and maintenance costs to their minimum. With add-ons like the Frausche Motion App, smart maintenance planning and simple data management can be easily and efficiently implemented in the daily work of maintenance teams. Details on FADC diagnostic possibilities and associated tools and services like the Advanced Service Display, the Frausche Diagnostic System or the Frausche Insights are available in individual Frausche Talks episodes. The FADC, alongside its features and protocols, is a SIL-4 certified Excel counting system, according to Senelec. It is a globally accepted and type-approved system, proven in use in various environmental conditions. The indoor components are designed to withstand temperatures from minus 40 to plus 70 degrees Celsius, and air humidity from 5% to 100%, according to EN5125-3. The system can be used at altitudes of up to 3,000 meters. It is protected against pollution of non-conductive dust deposits according to EN5124-1. It has been proven at the minimum speed of 0 km per hour and a maximum speed of 300 km per hour. Theoretically, even higher speeds of up to 450 km per hour are possible. The FADC is a TSI certified Excel counting system and all wheels according to TSI, EBO and URC are safely detected and counted with the standard configuration. Rolling stock parameters beyond these norms will need additional checks in order to find a suitable parameter setting for the FADC. The FADC can be powered with 19 to 72 volt DC. In total, 4,095 components can communicate within one project. 
This theoretically means that from 1 to 5000 plus track sections can be evaluated within one project. The track section can have a maximum of 8191 axles inside. The allowed switching voltage of an optocoupler interface is 19 to 72 volt DC at maximum 70 milliamps. The allowed switching voltage of an IOXB relay output is 110 volt DC and 120 volt AC. The maximum switching current is 1 amp, depending on the switching voltage. The maximum allowed input voltage is 72 volt DC. The FADC only requires maintenance every two years. In conclusion, the FADC is a globally type-approved SIL4 certified Exliconing platform. It provides hardware and software interfaces for a fail-safe integration into higher ranking systems like relay-based or digital interlocking systems used in complex railway signaling projects. Similarly, the FADC can be used in simpler railway applications like level crossing protection systems. Overall, it is one system with multiple facets for various railway applications and due to its flexibility and extensive diagnostic possibilities, the lowest possible lifecycle costs are guaranteed. Thank you guys for tuning in again and see you in the next episode of Russia Talks. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.